Tonight at the State House, that's where more than a dozen bills affecting the LGBTQ community have been filed this year. Republicans are backing legislation regarding gender affirming care for children, classroom lessons about sexuality, and drag shows. Meanwhile, Democrats are pushing for more protections for LGBTQ residents. News 19's Becky Buzz is at the State House now with more. Last year, the South Carolina GOP passed a law banning transgender student athletes from playing high school sports. This year, conservative lawmakers intend to push harder on bills impacting the LGBTQ community. We know that justice and equality will prevail in South Carolina. The South Carolina United for Justice and Equality Coalition rallying at the State House Thursday in response to what they say is a wave of anti-LGBTQ legislation. Many of the bills seek to ban gender-affirming health care for trans people 21 years old or under. Others aim to limit classroom instruction about sexuality and gender identity. And some look to restrict drag shows and performers. It can be disheartening, I would say. It's kind of frustrating that people aren't trying to see the humanity of trans people or trans kids. Representative R.J. May is the vice chairman of the Freedom Caucus, the group behind several of these bills. He argues it's about protecting children and parental rights. Uh, as a state, we say that they can't make a decision on a tattoo. They can't make a decision on purchasing alcohol. They can't make a decision on voting. Yet we're going to allow them to have permanent life-altering surgery. In response, Democratic representatives have introduced a new bill that would update the state's non-discrimination laws to provide protections for LGBTQ people and people of color. Everybody has a right to live in a country where they are not hassled and harassed, where they are not judged by who they love. Many advocates like Gabrielle Mullen say they will spend the session testifying at committee hearings and contacting their legislators. What do you want to do with these people? You just expect them to go away. Um, they're not going to go away. We're not going to go away. South Carolina is one of 27 states without protections from discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. Becky, thank you. According to the Williams Institute, 137,000 LGBTQ adults live in South Carolina and an estimated 30,000 LGBTQ youth ages 13 to 17 live in the state.